Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So this week, Kat Von D Beauty launched a brand new product. This is the Lash Liner in Trooper Black, which is the first ever liquid liner for the waterline of the eyes. I know that they have been working on this for a really long time now, so I'm super excited to try this formula. So in this review, I am going to be testing it out for the first time on my eyes, and then I'm also going to be wearing it for the whole day to show you how long it really lasts. So if you wanna see how the new Kat Von D Beauty Lash Liner performs, then keep watching. So I haven't opened or swatched this product yet, so I'm just gonna try it straight up on my eyeballs. So this is the applicator. It looks like a tiny, tiny, tiny doe foot applicator. And I'm gonna just take some excess product off it because I don't want too much to go into my eye. So I'm gonna start by putting it on the waterline of the eye, which is what it's made for. Damn, it actually goes on pretty well, first swipe grab a little more product. So you can see it's gone a little bit into the eyeball, just a touch. So when I close this eye, this eye seems a little foggy with my vision, um, but I'm sure that will all collect into the corner of my eye eventually and I'll get some nice black eye boogers. Applicator is actually very comfortable. So I'm just using what I've gotten from dipping the applicator into the product without wiping it off this time. I think on this eye, I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit and then do another coat over the top. I'm gonna do my upper under. It's not stinging my eyes at all, which is surprising because liquid liner, once you get it in your eyeballs, usually it stings, but obviously this is made for the inside of the eyes, but it just tickles when I'm putting it on. That's why my eyes are kind of fluttering a little bit. Okay, that stung a little bit. I think I put a little too much on and I've just gotten a little bit underneath my eyeball. Now realizing it would have just been easier if I had just kept my eyes open rather than trying to hold them open with my fingers and just kind of looked down into the mirror and just pat the little doe foot up underneath the lashes. Use a little mascara one to flick that. Not coming off, which is a good thing. Want it to stay on, but I don't want it there. Round number two, just to get a little blacker on this side now that this is dried. Sometimes when you put liner over liner, it can make the liner underneath disappear and it didn't do that, so that is a bonus. I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush and kind of just smush that in to the lash line. So it's starting to set and it feels pretty comfortable. I'm gonna pop some mascara on my lower lash lines and I'm gonna to go to work and wear this all day and I will be back at the end of the day to show you how long this really lasts in the waterline. Let's give you a real tight zoom in here. So this is it after nine hours. It's now six o'clock and I did my makeup this morning at about 8.30, so about nine and a half hours that the liner has been on the waterline. It's kind of come away just from the corner just a little bit, but this is something that always happens for me with liners in the waterline. And it's gotten just a little bit like, almost like it's bled a little bit just on these inner corners as well. I haven't touched up anything on my eyes today. Just wanted to leave them and see what they actually really look like. It's stayed on pretty well in the waterline. You can tell it's still quite black. The upper waterline, you can tell it's removed a little more, but that might be because I didn't do as good a job at putting it on up there because it's so freaking ticklish up there. Remove those little goopy bits right there. But other than that, it's stayed on pretty well. I find that uh, my eyes can sometimes get 
quite irritated when I wear black in the waterline for me. My eyes are a little bit red, but I feel like it hasn't irritated them as much as a normal black liner normally would. So it's 11.30 at night, which is 14 hours now wearing the Kat Von D lash liner. So I'm just gonna give you a little close up of what's going on. So you can see it's still hanging on there, which is pretty incredible. I feel like if I had a pencil liner on, it would have crept down into the lash line already. Obviously it's totally gone from in here. It's not totally still on on the upper waterline, but it's still definitely there. This one that we did the double coat on, I feel like it stayed a little bit better. I was a little bit worried about the double coat getting a little bit flaky into the eyes, but it definitely hasn't so far. So basically when I found out that there was going to be a liquid liner made for the inside of the eyes, I thought, how the hell is that going to work? Because people sometimes tell me that they put liquid liner in their waterline and I'm like oh, how how is that even possible every time I've ever tried previously with any other liquid liner it literally just like fills up my eyeball like a black sclera lens and my eye is just completely red and gross so I think they've really nailed it with the applicator and the consistency of this because it dries down quick and it's not too watery so it doesn't get too much in the eye. As you saw from the application right at the beginning, it did get in my eye a little bit. So I have seen in the comments that it is meant to be safe for contact lens wearers, but I would probably put your contacts in after you did your inner waterline because you know, if that black gets on your contact lenses, then you're gonna have that fuzzy vision for the rest of the day. I will be super interested to hear what people that do tightline their eyes every day think of this. For me, they almost nailed it. I would have said 100% nailed it if it didn't wear away from those two inner corners, but it definitely has stayed on and remained blacker than any other liner that I could think of. My favorite before this used to be the Scully lip liner. So I think that this might be replacing that for when I do those really blacked out smoky eye looks. So I hope you guys have liked this little mini review. I will leave the link to this product in the description box below. I know there's two other different kinds of liners coming out with this new Kat Von D product launch. So leave a comment below if you think I should review the other ones and if you guys like this kind of wear it for the day type of review. That's my thing with products. I just always like to see, do they actually work? So I feel like doing a little bit of a time test throughout the day definitely helps with that. Anyways, you guys, I am off to enjoy the rest of my Saturday evening. I hope you guys have liked this. If you do, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more vegan and cruelty-free makeup tutorials. Bye.